Okay, that's quite interesting. So I, I know you, we talked about the business cycle uh, previously, but it's something that uh, I find quite interesting when you talk about it. So can you maybe explain to us uh, how you see a business cycle or, or how you define it? Well, it's not something I defined really. I mean, something that is been has been defined by the conference board. That's something that can be looked up, and you can go get the the, the data. You if you you know you, you have to pay a little for it, but you can actually get the data also there for the leading, the lagging, the coincident indicators, which is really a, a way of you know looking in the economy to just just by there is not just one business cycle, but there is a cycle where there are things that are pointing to what has come to come. There are the cycle which shows you where are the where is the economy right now. And then there is also the cycle, which, which gives us which direction do we see rates and, and the likes. Uh, and these uh, these I follow and uh, and I just not just follow them. I, I, I constructed a model together with SwissBlock, which actually, um, uh, when you backtrack it on a quarterly basis uh, for the last 100 years, every time you had a, a recession signal for coming out from that, it actually we, we did get a recession and it's not have you know it hasn't predicted any uh too, too many uh, recessions or anything like that it's just been it's been uh, spot on in terms of you know nailing it when when it comes to recessions and and we do have a recession signal in now which means that which was opposite from what we had last year there was no no signal there um so so now we are in a situation where the econ we we are waiting the economy actually to, to start to deteriorate and uh, and and one of the things that we need to see is the rate starting to come down really strongly, and and that will be the second factor in my in my book or third factor I would say maybe, um, and then there is the, the the deterioration of the of the stock market, but 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 I with the current strength in the labor labor market, I think we will uh, we can get into you know maybe April May June. Uh, before we see the, uh, the the top in the stock market first, and then a couple of months later on, we will see the uh, uh, the recession begin.